Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell, Headways of Dragon Rider Network, and I am officially on Thanksgiving break, and I am going to start making a whole ton of videos over the course of the next week, starting with this one, uh, because as some of you may remember, back in October, I had a whole new camera angle set up for Halloween night when I was making that one update video about Star Wars, and I told you guys I would give you guys a little bit of insight on how I was doing that. So, this video is how I'm doing it, and it's also a video for all of you fellow DSLR users on how to do it too. So anyway, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take you through the eyes of me uh, to see what this is like, but honestly, uh, there's not really much of a way that I can do that, but wait a minute. Aha! I love this phone. I really do. Let's go ahead and get in to the video camera mode of the iPhone, and I can give you guys my point of view almost exactly of what I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and switch over to the iPhone. So as you can see here, uh, this is basically my setup. Ignore the huge amounts of mess that you see all around you. This is not a room tour, and thank goodness it's not. But anyway, here is what I am looking at right now. So right here you can see the mic. And... This is the Audio-Technica microphone, use it to get such clear audio all the time when I'm making videos. Way back there you can see my Canon Rebel T3i in all of its glory with the 50mm attachment lens, that's why it has to be so far away. And right here is where the magic happens. This is the Canon Remote Live View software that I use to control my Canon T3i. And it is really, really amazing. Right there, you can see I have all the controls that you would typically find, like shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. I also see the num I also see the number of shots I have left. I also have a record and unrecord button, and sometimes video stops recording, like it did now. Fortunately, not on my iPhone though. And I also have like a switch from live mode focusing to quick mode and white balance and all that other great stuff that everybody just loves. So let me go ahead and switch back to the Canon to tell you guys more about this and how you can do it for yourself. So anyway, the reason I use this software is because when I started using the 50 millimeter lens, the, the angle of the video was just so tight for how the wide angle powers were and I just needed to find a way to make my control over the camera so much more efficient. Now I had the remote shutter from uh, it was like Opteca or something and that's how I actually controlled the focus of the camera before and that's how like from the beginning of me using the DSLR I had this really crummy focus the focus would be on something else in the background instead of me. Well now when I got the remote shutter it made everything so much more efficient However, when I had the 50 millimeter lens attached, it had to be so far back that I had to stand that the remote shutter couldn't reach the camera. This is where it became a big problem. And this is where I started to look into solutions that could possibly replace this. I come across that Canon has software that allows you to hook up your camera directly to your Mac or PC, and then you then have full control over your camera directly from your computer. It's fantastic. So obviously I start looking up on how to do it and what you need and what you uh, should get to make it the best as possible and here is what I found and here's what you will need to do it too. The first thing that you will need is your Canon DSLR. It could be your T3i, could be your 5D, could be your 60D or your 7D, whatever. The second thing you're going to need is going to be a mini USB cable. This is going to be essential for what you're going to be using it for by connecting it from your computer to your camera. Pretty self-explanatory. The third thing you're going to need is a computer 
also self-explanatory. And the last thing that you are going to need, which some of you, like me, had to search far and wide for, is, drum roll, the Canon EOS Digital Solution Software Disk that originally came with your camera. This is going to be hard to find if you are not good at keeping track of it. And yes, this stuff is very useful down the road. It's how I'm doing this right now. So anyway, basically what you do is you just load up the software onto your Mac or PC. It's, the software is compatible with both. And once you have all the software installed, look for the one that says EOS Utility. This is the one you're going to use. All right, the rest I can take you through on ScreenFlow right on my Mac. All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, this is an actual screen flow of my Mac. And as you can see, I have the remote live view uh, window uh, fully activated. And let me go ahead and close out of some of this. And what you basically do here, uh, like the background? But anyway, what you basically do here is open EOS Utility. There's a whole setup process. Then you go to camera settings, remote shooting. And after that, you will get the layout of what you would typically see on your DSLR in the home screen. You get shutter speed, you get aperture, you get ISO, and you get uh, how many shots you have left in the camera. And of course, you get a whole bunch of other stuff. But then you can actually go to this button right down here that says Live View Shoot. And when you hit that, there you go you automatically have the ability to see what you're doing and see everything that your camera sees right on the desktop. It is absolutely amazing. And what you can actually do at that point though is you can even, if you have it on autofocus, you can actually change the focus. So let me go ahead, uh, click right there, and if I want to focus on my poster right up there, I just double click, double click, and double click inside the box, and then it'll uh, auto expose itself, autofocus and then boom it autofocuses right on that and then uh, if we go back you can see I am no longer in focus but then I can just click right back on me and change that pretty quickly so let me go ahead focus on a very weird picture of my eye and my hair and then uh, voila it's back on me and it's pretty simple. And then you can even change the white balance. Like, I can have it set to daylight. It makes it a little bit blue. And have it set to cloudy. Not much better. I can have it set to tungsten, which is really bad. And I can have it set to a flash setting. I can have it set to a custom setting, which is really cool. And then I can just uh, go ahead and, uh, like, adjust it. Like, I can say, like, all right, I want it for, like, whatever setting. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back on Shade, which was the setting I was using for the video in the first place. And as you can see, you can even get your readings uh, right down there for everything that you need. And this is an actual live view uh, for you guys wondering. So, like, I can go ahead and, like, wave to you guys, and it's very responsive. And when you're looking at it, it's all in real time. It's not delayed at all, but it does delay a little bit when you do when you do start shooting video. That's my one problem that I face. But honestly, though, at that point, you're not so much cared about looking at the screen because you either have it off to the side or something, but you're really looking at the camera. And then when you go back, then you can look at all the videos right on your camera or you can import them into your computer. Basically, whatever you want. It's really simple and it's really, really awesome. So let me go ahead and I will switch back to the Canon DSLR right here. So anyway guys, that is my video on how I get the new angle for my Canon Rebel T3i using the 50 millimeter lens and my microphone. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you find it useful as well. So anyway guys, for more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, check me out on Facebook, and Dragon Rider Network is getting some pretty awesome stuff. Like I said, I'm making a ton of videos this week. You can surely bet that one of them is going to be about the situation we have going with DragonRiderNetwork.com. Anyway guys, I will catch you at the next video. Talk to you then.